guys, it's Andy and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about a company called Global Star Ring or GSAT with the ticker symbol GSAT. Now this company has been trending a lot in the news and all over YouTube because the price has just increased so much over the last month. It's increased by 250%. So I've been doing a little bit of research and I want to share it with you guys. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to come into this company. For those of you who don't know me, I'm passionate about investing and I'm always looking for the next profitable pick. Guys, if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, as this will really help my channel grow. So what is GSAT, and what does it do? GSAT is an American satellite communications company that operates a low Earth orbit satellite constellation for satellite phone and low speed data communications. It also operates active ground stations called gateways. The Global Star constellation consists of 24 low Earth orbiting satellites. The Global Star offers these services to both recreational and commercial users in more than 120 different countries. Many land based and maritime industries make use of the various Global Star products and services from remote areas beyond the reach of normal cellular and land phone telephone service. Global customer segments include oil and gas, government, mining, commercial fishing, utilities military, emergency preparedness and many more. The stock price has increased significantly over the last few weeks so I decided to investigate why. There appears to be a few significant catalysts which have caused this price increase. Number one, it's deal with Nokia. The deal allows Nokia to set up Digital Automation Cloud DAC, at the port of Seattle, Terminal 5. The update to Terminal 5 allow it to service larger cargo ships. GSAT is a developer of the BAN53 ecosystem that Nokia is using at the terminal. Jay Monroe, executive chairman of Global Star, said that he was excited to be part of the opportunity with Nokia. BAN53 offers partner secure and reliable connectivity in any environment. Investors also appear to be responding by a new deal signed by Global Star subsidiary Spot LLC. Spot LLC is a leader in satellite messaging and emergency notification technologies and announced a partnership with monthly subscription box service called Battlebox. Battlebox Pro Box subscribers will receive a Spot Gen 4. So far, nearly 7,500 rescues have been attributed to Spot satellite technology, with nearly 6,000 rescues occurring in the hiking and winter sports category alone and with many more and more individuals seeking socially distance and safe recreational activity, the need for a life-saving device like Spot is essential. Global Star has also signed an agreement to supply satellite services to Ceres Tag, an animal tracking satellite company. The Ceres Tag is a smart ear tag that weighs just over one ounce. It attaches to the animal and automatically sends the data to the cloud via the Global Star satellite network. This relationship with Global Star allows it to supply an automated daily recording of animals, including pasture feed intake. I decided to take a further look into the financial report of GSAT, but I wasn't overly impressed with the findings. Bear in mind, there isn't a report produced for 2020 yet, so I'm using the comparison between 2018 and 2019. Looking at the income statement, net income appears to have risen in 2019, so this is a positive development. However, a lot of this appears to be due to other income gain, which warrants further investigation. I'm not convinced right now that this represents actual earnings growth for the company. Furthermore, revenue appears to be growing very slowly. If you look at the revenue for the service lines, it has actually fallen from 2018 to 2019, which does not look very promising. The company's debt has increased and its total assets have fallen, including less cash on the balance sheet. This could mean that financing for future growth may warrant further investigation. GSAT has struggled financially in the past and it is barely surviving. The company so far has been massively unprofitable and as of 2018 it registered 3.83 billion in accumulated losses. The company's cash flows are not looking good and has been negative over the last two years, although slightly less negative in 2019 than 2018. Furthermore, the industry is growing very slowly and it only has an annual growth rate of 6.2% up until 2024, which is not great for a growth stock. However, things are not all bad for GSAT. There's a lot of positives with the company too. It's got a lot of unique selling points, like a great management team that's very customer focused. It now charges a 
subscription based feed to all of its companies so now it has a more predictable and st stable revenue flow. ESAR also has spectrum rights that could be a valuable source of revenue for the company. So spectrum rights are like basically rights to sell signals over the electromagnetic spectrum and it can license these rights to other companies and thereby increasing its revenue stream. Looking at the recent investor buying and selling, the directors appear to have bought a large amount of stock in January 2021 at a price of 34 cent just before the share price rocketed. They have not sold yet which could indicate more potential for growth in the stock. So guys I think this company operates in a very interesting business segment. There's clearly a lot of risk associated with the company like some of its financials, extremely large amounts of debt, declining cash balances but then again it could have really turned around performance in 2020. Um, the price has increased a lot so I'll be very interested to see what the 2020 financial statements look like. I think the long-term growth prospects for this um, industry look pretty good. In the medium term like the industry isn't growing so much and but in the short term the momentum is definitely with the stock so I could see the price going up however I'm not too sure how much it's going to go up by so I'm still debating whether or not I want to put a position in myself I might put a little bit in and see what happens to it I think there's a lot of positive catalysts that's um, happened recently that could bode well for the company but at the end of the day it's a very speculative investment so there is definitely a lot of risk involved guys thanks for listening don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to leave me a like. I really appreciate it and I'll see you again soon.